What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the Evo. Fight! So if you guys have been watching my moto vlogs, I mentioned in the last one that the radiator is cracked in the Evo and I needed to get a new one. And I went with the Mishimoto half radiator because I plan on doing a forward facing turbo kit which requires a half radiator and an AC delete so I'm going to be deleting the AC also. So Mishimoto hooked me up with half radiator and they hooked me up with a swag bag and I ended up getting a coolant reservoir from them also. So shout out to them. But uh, let's go ahead and unbox this stuff and I'll show you guys what we're putting in the Evo. So first off, I'd like to point out how well the packaging is that they sent their stuff in. I already opened this stuff just to make sure I got the right stuff, but like the boxes are freaking awesome. It just I just think it's really cool how they how their boxes are set up. First, this is the radiator, obviously since it's a the bigger box. Like look how nice and neat they package this. The scent bracket so I can uh, basically, it's basically like a custom bracket. They also sent a little air freshener, which is pretty neat. It's polished aluminum. First thing I notice, obviously, instantly is some bent fins, which is gonna happen. Let me get this box. This is the front. Pretty neat, they have a little M there, top. Mishimoto, that's the cap, radio cap. Now I did read that the caps suck on here, on these. I don't know why or what. There we go. I don't know why, but I think it's pretty, pretty neat looking, but apparently they don't hold up very well. For the coolant reservoir, the reason I got this is because, I'll show you later in the video, the coolant reservoir is on the opposite side where this half radiator sits, you have to have a hose going from one side of the engine bay all the way over to the other side of the engine bay. So I bought this to relocate it. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet. Again, everything was stacked nice and neat in here. It came with all the hardware, the hose, and a little pamphlet deal. No air freshener though. Yeah, their, their packaging is awesome. I really don't want this stuff getting ruined during shipping. Put my dirty ass fingers all over. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So the bracket came with, looks like this. I don't know how I'm gonna mount this onto the swag bag. So in this swag bag they sent me, this basically came with a bunch of goodies. A little koozie, pretty neat. Another little air freshener that smells freaking awesome. I can smell it right when I open the bag. It has a little, little suction cup so you can stick it wherever on the windows. Uh, a couple of stickers I'm gonna put on my car and a lanyard. Little pamphlets and a letter. So that's pretty cool. Shout out to Mishimoto for hooking me up with that. That's it for the unboxing. Um, we're just gonna jump right into it and start taking out the radiator. Well, I have already drained the radiator because that's super boring and I just had some extra time to do that. I'm not really sure exactly how this is going to go with deleting the AC, but I'm just going to basically yank everything out. I've pulled the radiator out of, out of an Evo before, so this, that part shouldn't be very hard. First what we're going to do is we're going to take these clamps off here, take this hose out, and then I'm going to take the clamps off the bottom. We're going to take these bolts out so we can take this line off and then we're going to go underneath and take this hose loose. Okay, so next we're going to do the fan. 
two bolts on top. There. Next sip. Now I was told I don't have a slim fan radiator for it yet, but I was read that the OEM fan will work, so that's what I'm going to try to use. But next we're going to take these off, these bolts out, and it should come right out. I don't know if this is an Evo thing, but on my last Evo, it cracked right up here where the plastic's at, and it just seeps through. So I don't know if that's just like an Evo thing, if it's just like really old or what the deal is, but I feel like this is just pretty common for these cars. Okay, so that was easy. Next is literally the AC delete. I already got the AC drained. I had it drained by a shop here in Sutherland. The shop is called Over the Hill Auto. Uh, really nice, really cool guys. Uh, check them out if you ever need anything done to your car. First, what I know is I need to take this belt off. So that's first. Okay, now that I got the belt off, I'm gonna start unbolting these lines here. There's a clip back there, you can't really see it, but it was kind of a pain in the ass to get off. There's a clip, and then there's one bolt. But it's where two lines go into the firewall. You have to take that bolt out and then take this bolt out here, some more bolts up here, but I'm going to take those out and try to get these lines off. Okay, so I just did a big, big no-no. I have no idea why I thought this was part of the AC. I, well, I thought it was like a drain that went back there, and it's obviously power steering. <laughs> So I took this line off and I got power steering fluid freaking everywhere and then it was a bitch getting it back on. I have no idea why I did that. I don't know. But nobody's perfect and everybody makes mistakes. I got all the lines off. Now I just need to get this. Basically it's like a radiator for the AC. I need to take this out and I'm going to take this fan off too. Day two. Okay, so I ran out of time yesterday kind of and I ended up taking... The condenser off got this loose but i need to take the intercooler off which is kind of a pain in the ass but i mean it is what it is gotta get that off okay time for some tv magic okay so we got it off intercooler off took the fan off next we're taking this ac the pump itself off it's gonna be these three bolts here and after we get that off, we can take this mount off also. If I can get to all the bolts, which I think I can. And that will save us a lot of room with the downpipe and everything, which is pretty neat. And I think we're about done with the whole AC delete. Right, so we got the AC off and we got the mount off also. Uh, there's four bolts each. Or actually, yeah, four bolts each. These two for this. These two that mount onto the block. Now you can see that pretty gold. These two were a freaking bitch to get off. I would recommend taking off your everything if you don't want to have to struggle with it, but it's it was fine. Next, uh, next we are just gonna put the belt on and we're gonna start putting everything back together, basically. Day three. All right, guys. So we got the belt in. The belt that I bought off Amazon was the wrong one. It was an inch too long, so I had to go to the parts store and pick up a different one. The link for that is in the description below if you need that belt. When I put this belt on, it was super tight. So be ready to fight that, because I had to fight it. And we got the radiator in. That fitment was pretty okay. Um, I had to shave down the mount for the bottom. If you see it's raised right here. I had to shave it down pretty much flush and lower it down because it, this part was hitting the hood and I had to bend this down a little bit it's not perfect but it works and then the coolant reservoir I had to mount it over here I originally wanted to mount it here but it just wasn't working and the way the fitting is down there it just wasn't working for me so I put it here 
and I ran the uh, silicone hose that I have had laying around just looked it around to here and then the stock radiator fan fit it's, it's a tight fit so later on I'm gonna get a slim fan so it looks a lot nicer but I already filled it up with coolant and I need to put this in it still uh, they sent this to me with my radiator it's supposed to reduce engine temp and keep it keep everything from corroding and all that good stuff so I'm gonna add this when it cools down because I just I just got done filling it up and bringing up the temp and making sure and everything's working and stuff so yeah it's all done it's it looks a lot nicer I think now I just need to put the bumper on and freaking drive this thing around but this is where I'm gonna end the video guys so if you want to see more videos of me working on the Evo or me working on the Z car, uh, subscribe. That'd be awesome. If you like the video, hit the like button and comment down below what you guys think I need to do to this car. I know that there's a lot, but what should I do next that's not going to break the bank? So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. 